a strong contender for album of the year. I've had this on loop. Imaginal Disc. I've had this on loop. I've had this on loop since it dropped. And it might be one of the best albums I've heard this year. And it's funny because, if I'm not mistaken, Madalena Bay's Imaginal Disc came out the same day that Sabrina Carpenter's album came out. The same day. But I prefer this to Sabrina Carpenter. Sabrina Carpenter, you know, decent enough. Don't get me wrong. She's got some good bops. She's been about for ages. She's been hustling, doing the damn thing. But I think she's also a little bit overrated. Madalena Bay. Whoo! This woman is absolutely fire. The first track itself, She Looked Like Me. That second half of She Looked Like Me, if I ever get to see Magdalena Bay live, I think I might cry if I hear that second half of She Looked Like Me. And I feel like every song on the album has an incredible transition, an incredible flip, maybe two or three flips towards the middle of the fucking track that just transport you to another fucking plane. It's what I, what I want to call it. Genre wise, maybe a synth pop, maybe it's indie dance, uh, maybe it's just straight pop. It's disco y. It's such a bop. It's so fucking fun. It's so good. I really do recommend that you check it out. It legitimately might be one of the best albums I've listened to in the last few years. It's so fucking fantastic. Um, and then, of course, trans, you know, sequencing wise, it's out, out, out of this world. Like, I don't think you could find, I don't think you could find a better opening three tracks than this at the moment. She Looked Like Me, Killing Time, and the True Blue interlude. Like, fucking brilliant. My favorite song on the album probably might be Fear Sex, tr track number six. And then, of course, the end track, The Ballad of Matt and Mika. But legitimately, the entire thing is stupendous. If you're a fan of, I don't know, if you're a fan of uh, Fab, what's her name? Fabiana something right who I said I had a great album this is kind of in that kind of lane but if anything's a little bit more up tempo a little bit more upbeat than that than that Fabiana I think it's Paladino I think her name is forgive me if I'm wrong but if you're a fan of her type of music you'd love this also it's a bit more up tempo a bit more upbeat and the vibes are fucking immaculate legitimately I've been listening to this continuously throughout the last couple of weeks and also of course the Nails album that I'm also going to review um, hopefully I think tomorrow as well when I do my other pod so you'll hear me and my review for the Nails album but honestly Magdalena Bay Imaginal Disc legitimately might be one of my favorite albums this year and I really recommend you check it out especially if you're a fan of Sabrina Carpenter's work because I feel like this girl is far more talented than Sabrina Carpenter I feel like has a far higher ceiling and I don't know the album is just so well done so well done and I've actually maybe I'll do a review of Sabrina Carpenter's album which I did enjoy I felt it was a bit underwhelming, but I did enjoy it. But I literally, legitimately, 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 legitimately um, love this, love this, love this, love this. So big up, big up Magdalena Bay, Imaginal Disc, one of my favorite albums to drop this year. Legitimate album of the year contender, maybe up there um, with number one as well. Um, you know, Charlie FTX has obviously put out a banger that we fucking love. And a few others as well, like I mentioned, that Fabiana girl, who I also am a big fan of, but legitimately. Magdalena Bay Imaginal Disc, please check it out. It's available now on all your digital streaming platforms on the best, best albums of the year. And I fucking have loved every bit of it. I really, really, really have.